Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another crazy knockoff review for you today. Uh, this is Hawk Overlord, which is basically just a KO of Great Icarus from the Super Sentai series Jetman. So you can kind of see the Jetman 5 team here. Let me get a little bit closer. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it shows on the front. Now it just has the one name, Hawk Overlord, but it shows Jet Icarus here. Jet Garuda, and then it shows the combined form of Great Icarus, and it also has the combined uh, Jet form, which is what you're seeing right here. Now, that's all well and good, but when we take a look on the other side, there are barely any instructions. <laughs> so it shows Jet Icarus in the combined Jet mode. Make sure you take the wheel piece off. And then it tells me how to put the stickers on the robot, but the stickers are already applied, and there's no transformation instructions. So that's not going to be super helpful. And uh, the packaging is a little uh, smashed up here, but if we get in very close, you can see it actually says Jetto Icarus. So it is properly labeled Jet Icarus. And right here you have Jet Garuda, which is the name of the second half. And then down here you have Hypa Haken, which is the name of the combined jet mode. So I think that's pretty cool. They actually have the official Sentai names on this product, which is kind of cool. Kind of weird, but kind of neat. Uh, I wish I had better transformation instructions. Instead of sticker application instructions, you don't need. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I found this the same place I found the other knockoff that I reviewed, the Tuesday Mornings, which is kind of a... one of those kind of liquidation stores like... Um, Ross or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, those kinds of things. Um, they sell kind of random stuff like this. It does have kind of a dollar store feel to it with the giant card and everything. And But you can see it was six bucks, which is still a pretty fair price in my opinion. So let's go ahead. We'll get Hawk Overlord uh, off the card here and we'll start to figure out how this thing works. So here is the Hawk Overlord out of the packaging. Uh, you can tell right away as soon as you handle the toy that it's definitely cheap, like dollar store quality plastic. Um, it's got a ton of stickers on it though, which is pretty cool. They're starting to peel a little bit, um, but I do appreciate the stickers. And there are some that are paint apps, like the head of the hawk here. There are some paint applications there, not just stickers, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it's definitely a cheaper feeling plastic. Uh, it does come with a couple accessories. I like this sword a lot. I think this is pretty cool. And then it does come with these two little fists, and they can hold the sword, so that's pretty cool. So we'll put these off to the side for now. So basically this is the combined jet form, the Hyper Haken. Uh, basically what you do is, let me zoom out here a little bit. Well, before we take it apart, just to give you a really good look, you have these kind of big thrusters on the back, which are very obviously going to become feet. You can see the robot's hands, they're just kind of hanging out as well. And then you have the hawk head, and then you have the smaller jet here with the hawk on the front of here. So pretty cool. Pretty neat little jet mode. When you come to the bottom, there's this big panel, and you can take this off. It's just kind of a tray that it sits in. And this has two removable gold missiles. So you can unpeg them and pretend they're being fired at a target. And then you just peg them right back on. So this is just kind of a tray that it sits in to kind of shore it up when they're connected together because it covers this piece and this piece. So put that off to the side. It doesn't really do anything else. Um, you're going to unpeg these. You can see there's two pegs here and there are two peg holes right there and there. So that's going to separate out into the two pieces. This is, um, you know, Jet Icarus. <laughs> and I have to say this was kind of definitely a disappointment in my mind. I didn't. Ex I certainly didn't expect it to separate into the five individual pieces, um, and I didn't really expect them to combine together into the giant robot mode. I mean, that would have been amazing, but I never expected it. Um, so here is the Jet Icarus vehicle mode, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's fine. Um, basically, how it works is you can pull these pieces off. So you would think they become the arms. They're very hollow, but then I thought, oh, wait, you get two fists. Okay, perfect. These are the arms. 
So you take your fist and you plug them in. There are little peg holes on the bottom. So, okay, I have two arms here. All right, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, the packaging makes it look like these should come off and switch around. So you have this big chest plate here. You can see the head of the robot. Okay, this piece just folds back. No biggie. Okay. Have the robot head, which can actually swivel from side to side. It's kind of hard to see the detailing because it's just one hunk of like yellowish-orange plastic, but there's some molding there. Um, this is kind of the biggest disappointment. So obviously, this piece cannot be removed. This is one solid plastic piece, which that's fine. You know, I can deal with that. And technically, in the vehicle mode, if you wanted to move these up and make it like a big fin, you could do that. I don't, I don't really know what purpose it serves, but you can. Or you can break it off. <laughs> you can literally break it off while you're reviewing it. No, it's okay. You put pops right back on. So, obviously, this piece comes back, and that reveals the head. Okay, fine. So, the legs. How do the legs work? Because, again, there's no directions on the box at this point. So, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what do I do? Do I pull these down? Do they extend or something? I can't figure out what's going on. So, from what I can tell, you're supposed to take these off. You can see there's two little pegs and two little peg holes. There's a peg hole up there. Okay, so I'm, I'm building the feet, right? This is how it shows it on the box. So I put those on. Cool, I have my feet. But you can't turn these or do anything. Um, I actually unscrewed this screw. And how it works is these pieces are on a track. They slide in and then this goes on top and screws in. So they're stuck like this. So... If you want, I guess every time you transform it, you could unscrew this, turn them around, or slide them out, turn it around, slide it back on, and then you could match, you could match the the drawing of how this is supposed to be. But for the most part, you're just going to spin these pieces around and have these really open legs. So okay, here we go. Well, at least we have these arms, right? I can go ahead, I can put these arms on here. Make I mean you know hey it's not amazing but it's a it's a decent little robot you know I can deal with that that's kind of neat the arms just fall completely off the peg here is about nine thousand times too small for this piece here that it literally you you put it on and it just falls completely off because the weight of this is so heavy that it's just like all they would have had to do was make and this peg is used for nothing else so there's no reason that this peg could not be big enough i mean obviously it can fit down here and it would have been fine see how there's enough friction there it works perfect why couldn't they just i mean the pegs are pretty much universal at this point there's a peg on the bottom there's a peg here there's a peg here they're all the same size why did they make this peg so tiny obviously this piece isn't supposed to be here normally it's supposed to sit flush but all they would have had to do is make that peg a little bit bigger, and it just didn't work out. So, if you can just hold them on there, uh, I mean, you don't like I said, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. The leg should be extended, but I mean, I could get behind this if the if the arms actually stayed on, I could get behind this. It's a it's a goofy little robot, and I mean, like I said, if I really wanted, I have a little screwdriver here. If I wanted to unscrew this, take this chest plate off. You can see how it's completely empty underneath, but you could slide these out. You could turn them around. You could slide them back in. And you know what? I'd have to, I'd have to put it like this because those pegs would have to be on the outside. I mean, again, you'd have to do this every time you transform it back and forth, but it could be done, right? Okay, put the head back in. Oop. Get the head on there. Close that up. Screw this back in. Okay, I mean, hey, that doesn't look too bad. Then if the arms actually stayed on, this could have been a groovy little robot. I really don't know why they made the pegs so tiny. 
they don't serve any other function as far as I can tell. I mean, that could have been a groovy little robot. I would have been okay with that. Plus, he comes with this sword, which is pretty cool. I definitely would. That would have been really cool. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess technically, if you wanted to keep it in this mode forever, you could always super glue it on there. Or, I guess, maybe you could try to... I don't know, you can't do that really because they need to connect onto here. I was going to say you could try to put something in there so that they would stick. I don't know. I don't know how to fix this problem. It's such a stupid thing. It's just there's not enough. It's too heavy so they just fall right off. It's really a shame. But anyway, so that's it for that guy. We're going we're gonna to put him off to the side and we'll get on to the second robot here, the Jet Garuda. This actually is not bad. You can see there's a little bit I think that's paint. I don't think that's a sticker, but I could be wrong. So basically how this guy's going to work, you're going to spin these around so that the sticker part faces forward while at the same time bringing this foot piece down. So, and you can, you can lift this piece up a little bit just to get out of the way for a minute. You kind of have to be careful about the stickers because like I said, they are peeling. So spin that around. So now you have the stickers in the front. You can move the arms forward a little bit. And the arms, they actually, the hands actually do open and close, which is kind of cool. They look like talons. Um, you're going to bring the eagle head up. Now the directions have you just, oh, did this piece come off again? Yeah, it does that. So anyway, you're gonna fold these down and you can see these clips are gonna go right there. So that folds up and clips there. So, you can put these down, and then this is supposed to just go like this, and just be the eagle head. So that's how the directions show it. What you can also do, you can lift this up, and there's actually a head inside the body that comes up. And then if you rotate the head back, you can see there's a helmet, and then you can put the helmet over top of that head, and you can get this thing going on. So technically, you can do whichever you like. I think, in my opinion, this functionality was used for the combined mode. But since it's not possible, you can just do it here if you like. I don't know what's going on. But it doesn't work perfectly, but it can be done. But this head that's in here is very, very tiny. And again, has almost no detail that is discernible because it's... Small and all just done in one color plastic. So I like to just use the eagle head. I think it looks cooler. So this guy's actually fairly faithful. Uh, Jack Garuda is a decent little robot mode. You know, the arms move. The legs don't really do anything once they're transformed. And unfortunately, he really can't wield the sword. Well... He's got a hole in his forearm you could kind of put it in. But see, there's no way for his his hand to really hold it. I mean, it can very loosely. But yeah, honestly, I don't mind this robot mode at all. And like I said, I could get behind this. Oh, you know what? Am I dumb? Are we going to are we going to see how dumb I am right now? We are going to see how dumb I am. We are going to see how dumb I am. I am really excited right now cuz I just fixed my problem. <laughs> All right, so you watched this in real time because I did not edit this and I promise I won't. This is the connection to the base. There's another connection over here, which is a much smaller peg. And that connects nicely. I just assumed because it looks, from the pictures on the box, it looks like the shoulder pads should jet out instead of connecting to the body that way. But I'll take it. You know, I'll take it at this point. I'm back in. I'm back in. I like this little guy. Now, granted, like I said, you're going to have to unscrew the torso and switch the legs around each time. But I, I'm kind of excited again. I'm so happy I found that. So, at the end of the day, you know, is it as great as the DX version of uh, Great Icarus? Of course not. It's a $6 knockoff toy. It's certainly not fair to compare it. 
uh, you know, to a toy that probably costs, you know, $60 when it was new, let alone what it would cost now to track down. But uh, I think this is kind of goofy and kind of fun. And I'm really excited that I figured out how the arms are supposed to connect before everyone in the comments went, hey, idiot, there's another port on the other side. <laughs> Which I would expect you guys to do. Um, but yeah, so even with... If you didn't want to change the legs around each time and you just had the the blank legs, I think it's still decent. But if you can take the extra second to just pop that screw out, switch them, and then pop it back in, I think this little robot mode actually looks pretty decent. And I love the sword. I love the little sword that he comes with. That's really cool. Oh, I'm so happy that those peg in correctly. That's so much better. I kind of think it would look better... Well, I get I guess because of the angle, I kind of still think it would look better if they did it the other way. But I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. So at the end of the day, you get two decent little vehicle modes, and then the two vehicle modes can combine together. And then you get two pretty cool robot modes. Unfortunately, the robot modes cannot combine together. I've kind of looked at this from every possible conceived notion, and there's no way. Because I'm like, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something like with the shoulders we just saw. But, uh, no, I cannot find any way to get the pieces to come apart or have it connect in the way that it's supposed to. And I just, I don't think it's in the cards. But if, if somebody has this set and I'm completely wrong, please tell me. Because I would love to find out how these two combine together. I just don't think it's going to happen. So, um... Yeah, but for what it is, honestly, two vehicle modes, two robot modes, and a combined vehicle mode, I think it's fun. I think that's worth it for six dollars. Um, you know, if you're if you're like me and you know you're never going to have any other representation of the Jetman toys just because of price and everything like that. Plus, I've never seen the show, so I'm not super committed to tracking them down. So uh, a little six dollar representation just to have some fun. I think it's worth it. I still think that the other knockoff I reviewed, the uh, Adventure knockoff, is probably the better of the two. Just because the transformation is a little bit more solid there. Um, and you don't have to actually take it apart to assemble any of the pieces. But they're both fun. I mean, you know, $6 knockoffs, hey, you could waste $6 on something much worse. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share the video and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Hawk Overlord. <laughs> I love the names they come up with these things. Hawk Overlord. Basically, as you guys know, it is a technically not great Icarus because they can't combine together, but Jet Icarus and Jet Garuda knockoff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.